I'm Karen Mabin. I'm a scarf designer based in Hill Street Design House in Edinburgh. I started out by going to Edinburgh College of Art after I left school and I studied jewellery because I quite liked the sort of combination between drawing and illustration but then also making things um, and I continued to study that at the Royal College of Art in London. I did a master's in goldsmithing um, but I kind of began to realise that I sort of preferred the two-dimensional aspects of designing rather than actually constructing something 3D. Um, so I started to sort of move more into kind of printed textiles because I could really exploit my drawing. Um, and that's when I really picked up on scarves and I began to get really obsessed with Hermes and Liberty and the kind of vintage prints and the fact that they're a bit weird and a bit surreal. Um, I look a lot at artists. I really love um, British pop artists like David Hockney and Eduardo Palazzi. I love outsider artists like Henry Darger. Um, I look a lot at... Um, some textile designers, I really love Amiga workshops um, and also the Sphinx 10 studio in Sweden. But I try not to look too much at, at fashion because sometimes I think it's kind of more interesting to sort of look outside of that. So I launched my first collection in 2013 and it was picked up by Liberty in London, which was really great. I was really lucky. Um, and We've stopped with them for four seasons now, which is brilliant. Um, and the collection's grown, and now we have international stockists um, throughout the world. We stock in Isatana, Tokyo, and Lane Crawford in China. And I've done projects for um, clients, including Anthropology in America and Donna Porter, the British broadcaster. So I really love working on collaborations. It's really exciting because, partly because you get to sort of explore a different product area but then also because you get to bounce ideas off someone else so in the future I'd really love to do more perhaps expanding into women's wear or even sets of homewares I'm kind of really into ceramics at the moment. So after I finished at the Royal College of Art I decided to leave London Um, I really loved London for the, the energy but I think it was quite it's quite a kind of exhausting place to live it takes a really long time to get from one side to the other and you can't really do very much in a day so I was based in Edinburgh before uh, and I decided to move back because I just love it. I love everything about it. The architecture, I love the space, and you're never too far away from kind of being able to go on a long walk and see the sea. And um, and yeah, and also kind of predominantly the, the people here. And it's a really supportive community. And, and creatively, everyone's kind of really open to exchanging ideas. People aren't guarded. Everyone's kind of willing to, to help each other to sort of succeed together. Um, so it's been great, especially the, the fashion community I find to be hugely supportive. It's just, it's really fantastic and it feels really inspiring to be here.